You're watching Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We've got a loaded show for today, and it's what we're talking about. The Giants supposedly have the worst kept secret at the NFL Combine, and it circles around potentially trading up for a quarterback. Also, reports are coming out that Drake May may be the quarterback that the Giants are falling in love with, and he may be the guy that they pull the trigger on to move up in the draft. We've also got some interesting rumors from Jordan or not of ESPN on if the Giants are going to re-sign Xavier McKinney with free agency set to kick off in less than a week. But first, got to make sure everybody watching today's show is subscribed because we're going to be live on the channel on Monday for NFL free agency day one. And I don't want you guys to miss any coverage of that. So subscribe, turn the notifications on, and join us for our live coverage of NFL Free Agency next Monday. I want to give a huge shout out to today's presenting sponsor, 8sleep. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get $200 off plus free shipping off the pod cover. Invest in the rest you deserve. If you're looking for a better night's sleep, Check out 8sleep at 8sleep.com slash chat sports. We'll tell you more about them coming up later in today's video. But according to Connor Hughes of SNY, the worst kept secret at the NFL Combine is the Giants want, want to and willingness to move up in the NFL draft to select a quarterback. I don't want to put words in the mouth of Connor Hughes, so I went and transcribed his video that he put on his Twitter where he said this, quote, the worst kept secret of the NFL combine might not just be the Giants' desire to select a QB in the NFL draft, but their willingness to trade up to go get a QB in this draft. The problem, though, is just is there going to be a QB for them to go up there and take it. And that is the most important part of this. I may really want to buy a really nice house, but if I don't find a really nice house in my budget where I want to leave, live, I can't buy the house. And how does that reflect to this? You look at the NFL draft order for the, the, the league. Chicago at number one. They're sticking at pick one. They're going to draft a quarterback. The Washington Commanders, everything I have heard, they are going to pick a quarterback. The New England Patriots are a team to keep an eye on, no doubt about it. The Cardinals could be a team that's looking to trade down, as well as the Los Angeles Chargers. So you know Joe Shane is working the phones, talking about a potential trade with the Patriots, potential trade with the Cardinals, and a potential trade with the Los Angeles Chargers. And Albert Breer, he pretty much doubled down and said that the Giants are trying to trade up. He said the Las Vegas Raiders and the New York Giants are two teams I've heard have been asking around on a trade-up for a quarterback. So we had Connor Hughes of SNY saying the worst kept secret is the Giants want to and willingness to trade up for a quarterback. And Albert Breer, one of the most plugged in NFL media heads, said just that. Connor Hughes also said this, and I thought this was important. While the Giants want a QB, they seem like they want to find a replacement for Daniel Jones. So that player might not be there this year. So what will they do? Pivot. That's exactly what Joe Shane is going to do. And the position he probably pivots to is wide receiver. And I think the reason Connor Hughes brought that up is because of what we just said a second ago. You can't trade up if no one wants to trade down. You can't force a trade onto someone. Two sides have to come to an agreement for a trade to be made. And if the commanders want to take a quarterback and the Patriots want to take a quarterback, they're not going to trade out of that second or third round pick, third, second or third overall pick. Maybe it's the Chargers, maybe it's the Cardinals, but then the top three QBs are probably off the board. Jordan Anand also said this, Drake May is a guy I think the Giants would love. You hear them connected to Drake May. They really, really like this guy. And what's not to like about Drake May? Prototypical size. A bazooka for an arm. And on top of that, he's been working out with Eli Manning this offseason. Eli has kind of become the mentor for a guy like Drake May. He also works with the same trainer that trains Daniel Jones. So there's been some inside communication between those things. But is Drake May going to be available when the Giants potentially trade up. I'm not sure. Jordan Renan also said this. The New York Giants trading up to pick number four seems to be, in my mind, the most likely option. And that's why I believe that the actual NFL draft, it starts at pick number three when the New England Patriots are on the clock. Because I think it's pretty safe to say that Caleb Williams is going to go number one. And then another quarterback, whether that be Jaden Daniels or Drake May, will go number two. And then whatever move the New England Patriots have, which is maybe they draft a quarterback, maybe they trade down, maybe they take Marvin Harrison Jr., 
that is when the actual draft starts, and that's when we will see some magic and potentially some moving up and down on the draft board. What do you think, though? Should the Giants trade up to pick a quarterback? Is this the year that they need to risk it to get the biscuit? Scared money, it doesn't make money. Should they go up and trade up to go get one of those guys? Let me know what you think. Type T for trade, type P for pass. For me, if I was the general manager for the New York Giants, the only way I am moving out of the sixth spot to move up to select a quarterback is if I am moving up and trading up to select Drake May or I am moving up or trading up to select Jaden Daniels. I am not trading up to go get J.J. McCarthy. Uh, I would not hate the idea of selecting McCarthy at pick number six. It's not one of my top choices, but there's no way I am trading up to go get J.J. McCarthy. Mayor Daniels, they're the only guys I'm talking about moving up for. But we also heard from Albert Breer just a second ago. The Las Vegas Raiders are a team that's trying to trade up as well. Coming up next, Jordan Renan on his podcast broke down some interesting news bits that he heard at the NFL Combine about Xavier McKinney and the New York Giants. And could they be bringing him back in NFL free agency? We'll talk about that around the corner. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, 8 Sleep. Today's episode is brought to you by 8 Sleep, the high tech solution to your old age, age old sleeping issues. Eight sleeps, pod three cover slips right over your mattress, bringing heating and cooling tech that keeps you comfortable and sleeping deeper for a better, more restful night. I love eight sleep because it has totally stopped my night sweats. I'm a guy that needs the room to be freezing. I got to have the fan on even when it's 30 degrees outside. And sometimes I still find a way to sweat. That was until eight sleep. Thanks to them. I don't wake up sweating and I get a better night's sleep. The pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed like a fitted sheet and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your bed uh, as low as 55 degrees or up to 110 degrees. Shout out to 8sleep. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get $200 off plus free shipping on the pod cover by 8sleep. Invest in the rest you deserve with the 8 Sleep Pod. All that information is clickable down in the comments and description of today's show. From the NFL draft to Xavier McKinney, let's talk about it. Jordan Renan of ESPN said he ultimately, ultimately, I think Xavier McKinney is back. And I always like to listen to the opinions of beat reporters. One, because they're the most tapped in people. They have legit sources. They're talking to people inside and out of the building. And I don't think that people of this stature, whether it be Renan, whether it be Ryan Dunleavy, even license plate guy for that point. We talked about him last week. I don't think these guys would say these things unless there were things that they have been told or heard that makes them think these things. He's not just shooting a blind shot right here. He's probably heard the Giants are very interested in bringing him back. Renan also said one of the franchise tags is not out of the question for a guy like Xavier McKinney. So maybe it's the non-exclusive tag that would give him the opportunity to negotiate with another team. And if he signs with said team, the Giants get two first-round picks back. Maybe it's a franchise tag where they take an average of the top five highest-paid players of the position, and that's the salary for one year. Maybe it's the transition tag, which takes the average of the top ten salary, allows McKinney to go test his value, and can, can agree to a team with another, uh, agree to a, ter a deal with another team, and then the Giants have the opportunity to match that deal. The Giants, they have until Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern time, to put that tag on Xavier McKinney if they want to. Renan also said this, the Giants want to keep Xavier McKinney, but they don't want to break the bank for him. And, like, my kind of beef with that is, like, what do you mean you don't want to break the bank for him? He's one of the best safeties in this league, and he's just 24 years old. I would absolutely pay Xavier McKinney. I know there was times throughout the season when the Giants were losing, and, and I said I would let McKinney go. I was an emotional fan at that moment. We've stepped back. We've looked at the numbers. We've talked about the situation. He's just 24 years old. And if you're not going to pay a 24-year-old safety that is ascending when it comes to his talent and has not played his best season yet, who are you going to pay? He's 24 years old. He's only going to get better and better. His best days are ahead of him. His best days are not behind him. And my belief of building a football team is you want to pay the guys that's best days are ahead of them. Don't pay them for what they've done. Pay them for what they will do. And I think McKinney still has a lot to do wearing a New York Giants uniform at his best year of his career this past year. Over 115 tackles. A tie to career high in pass breakups. And I actually think 
and a defense led and called by Shane Bowen instead of Don Wink Martindale, McKinney can become even more of an impact player. We saw him so often with the Giants these past two years with Martindale calling the defense as that single high safety. Whereas McKinney, I think, can make plays in the box. I think he can make plays in the slot. And he can come off the edge and apply some pressure to quarterbacks. I'd bring him back. And also, when you factor in that the Giants have almost $38 million in cap space and can make a couple more moves to get up to $60 million in cap space, Xavier McKinney should be a Giant, and that should be one of the highest priorities that Joe Shane has going into NFL free agency, which starts next week. Moral of the story, if you don't take anything away from this video, it is this. The Giants need to keep good football players. Name of the game, it's talent. Talent wins. And the Giants, they don't have a lot of talented or extremely talented football players. Xavier McKinney is one of those guys. I don't know if I said it in this video, but he's 24 years old. You should pay him. This is why you have the salary cap. And this is why when the salary cap goes up every year, players get paid more. They give you a tool to keep the really good players. And McKinney, he is just that. The Giants should be doing nearly whatever it takes to make sure the X-Man is back with the Giants. Whether that means you're making him a top 10 highest paid safety or not, this is kind of the value that I'm thinking he's looking at. I'm not, I'm not expecting him to get paid 19 million or 18 million or 17 million or 16 million. What about 14 million? What about like 13 million? What about 15 million? I think there is a number that the Giants and McKenney can come to that both sides will be deemed uh, as, as a fair deal. And I think the Giants. They should absolutely do it. He's a big-time player. He's young, and he's only going to get better and better. And I actually think this defense that the Giants are going to be running this year that features a lot of DBs on the field at the same time, nickel and dime uh, packages, I think McKinney can be even better. What do you think, though? If you were general manager Joe Shane and you had to make the call, should the Giants re-sign Xavier McKinney? Let me know what you think. Type Y for yes, type N for no. And make sure you are following me over on social media. I'm tweeting about the Giants all day, every day. And I'm also posted on Instagram about the Giants all day, every day. So give me a follow over there at Marshall Green underscore so you can stay in the loop on everything New York football Giants.